the adsorption desorption of gas is the most popular method for surface and pore size characterization. As the relative pressure is increased, more and more molecules absorbed on the surface. Thin layer will eventually cover the anterior surface in a single or monolayer. The number of gas molecules in the monolayer is recorded from the volume absorbed. Since the cross-sectional area of the absorbate is known, the area of the accessible surface may be calculated. However, gas absorption as a function of pressure does not follow a simple linear relationship. Therefore, an appropriate mathematical model must be used to calculate the surface area, is the BAT equation. The BAT equation describes the relationship between the volume of absorbed gas at a given relative pressure, where C in equation is a second parameter related to the heat of absorption. The BAT equation is valid in a range of partial pressure ranging from 0.05 up to 0.3. The most popular method for surface and pore size characterization is the physisorption and desorption of gas. This technique allows the characterization of mesopores ranging from 2 up to 50 nanometers. The sample has been put into a cylindrical glass sample holder, ending in a bulb and it is important that the sample will be fully contained into the bulb. The first phase is a thermal pretreatment of the sample at 120 degrees C under vacuum down to 100 millitor, means 0.1 atmosphere, for three hours. These conditions are related to the thermalability characteristics of each sample. The thermal pretreatment is performed in this first instrument, connected the sample holder to the vacuum line and put into the oven. During the pretreatment, all the physisorbed species, like water, carbon dioxide, desorb from the surface. In the second phase, in the sample holder, we insert a glass rod to reduce empty volumes. A plastic coating is inserted on the outside that help in maintaining the isothermal conditions during the experiment. Finally, the sample holder is connected with the instrument. The dewar is filled with liquid nitrogen where the sample holder will be immersed. Since the physisorption required very low energy, it is necessary to maintain the system at very low temperature. The liquid nitrogen is at 77 Kelvin. The duration of the analysis depends on the sample specific surface area higher it is, longer will be the analysis. For the whole duration of the analysis, the liquid nitrogen must be present in the dewar. At the beginning, the vacuum is applied to eliminate air gases from the sample holder. As represented in this chart, a tank of known volume, a manifold, present into the instrument, is filled with gaseous nitrogen. The valves are opened and the increasing amount of nitrogen is sent to the sample. The amount of gas physisorbed onto the sample is measured and in this way it is possible to construct the adsorption isotherm curve. In the table are reported the relative pressure that is the pressure into the holder reported to the atmospheric pressure and the adsorbed gas volume. When the relative pressure reaches the value of 1, 
the desorption process started. The adsorption desorption curves are reported in this graph. It is clear here the presence of hysteresis due to the capillary condensation phenomenon. The first part of the adsorption curve up to 0.35 atmosphere is used to calculate the specific surface area by the BAT equation. The linearization of the BAT equation is represented in this graph, where a function of absorbed volume is reported in function of relative pressure. From the slope and the intercept, we calculate the absorbed volume and the specific surface area in square meters per gram of sample. From the wall absorption curve, it is possible to calculate the pore size distribution, both using the adsorption or the desorption curve. To do this, the BJH equation is used. This method is based on the hypothesis that the pores are cylindrical and their radius is given by two contributes, the Kelvin radius of pore and the thickness of gas-absorbed layer. 